Hello and welcome to everybody on Cloud Fitness. So in today's video, we are going to see how we can implement a source freshness test in DBT. But before moving ahead, I do recommend all of you guys to connect with me on LinkedIn and as well as subscribe to my channel in case you have not done so. So let's move ahead and see exactly how we can implement a source freshness test. So now remember that most of the time we have our pipelines running, but the source itself has no data for your pipelines to process. So in that case, what you want is if your source has not actually got on any new data, you don't want your further pipelines to run. So that is what is your source freshness test and what today we are going to see how we can implement it in DBT. So let's go ahead to the project that we have been building. So this is the project where we have implemented gen implemented generic as well as the custom test cases. We have implemented the models as well. So now if I go to the staging and if I go to my source ecommerce.yaml file, we already know that these are the tables that we are reading, right? Now here, again, uh, especially for the source freshness test, what we can do is if I go to my dbt, right? Uh, I have distribution center events. We have a couple of these tables. So in this case, for the source freshness test, let me read a new table, which is called as your events table. So now if I go to the details over here, you can actually see, you know, uh, when it was created, when it was last modified, and if I want to see the data, right? This is how the data looks like session created ad. So you have a particular column called as created ad in your source table right? So I can use this particular column to actually do the source freshness test. So now if I go back, right now, instead of so like, I already have these, but let me add a new uh, name or a new table, which we are going to read, which is nothing but the events table. Let me save it as well. So this is the events table that we are reading. And here, what I can say is I can simply say freshness because this is the test I want to do. Uh, I'll simply say freshness and then I'm going to mention the field on which I want to do this test. So I want to do this on created at field, right? This is the field. So if I go back created at this is the this is the field or this is the date time field, which we can actually use to identify the freshness of the table events. So now here, what I can say is I can say one after or error after. In fact, you can even put one of it. You can put both of them or you can just simply say error after. So one after. So what I want to do is if, if for the period of hour, for the period of 12 hours, right? You see that there is no uh, new event that has been generated, then warn me after 12 hours. Okay. And provide an error to me after 24 hours if you don't see any freshness in the uh, events table on this particular column, on this particular column, which is nothing but your created ad. So this is how your source freshness test actually works. So now if I go back to the DBT documentation, you can actually see that you can implement the source freshness test at the source level as well. So if you see, if you see source, you can implement it at the source level as well as at the table level. So now if I go back here, I have implemented it at the table level. So inside the table hierarchy of the YAML file, I have put this particular test. I can also move it outside at the source level. So this is what it means. So that for each source also you can do the, for, for a particular source also you can do that and you can also do it for the table level. So now even here you can actually see it is saying one after you know, the count has to be a positive integer period can be like in the test that I've shown you, it's an hour, it can be a day, it can be a minute as well. So this is what exactly your source freshness test is. Now, if you want to uh, simply run this, right? So you can simply say source freshness test, right? And simply run it. In fact, it has to be dbt freshness test and enter. So this is the actual command for you to run. Uh, let me in fact put dbt source freshness. So this is the actual command dbt source freshness. The moment you enter this command, what happens is all your freshness tests that you have put in your model, they actually starts running. So that is what is the use of your dbt source freshness command. 
and you will actually see now the moment I have typed this, right? Let me in fact put it uh, now you can see the dbt source freshness, right? It has started running and then you can see one of one start freshness the the, the look e-commerce dot event and then it has passed this particular test case. So exactly this is how it works your source freshness test you know the moment you specify it at any table or a source level you can specify after what period you want your pipeline to give an error so that you can stop the execution of any further uh, SQL dependent SQL models as well. So this is how it works. So I hope you like this particular video. You understood how you can implement the source freshness test. It's pretty simple. And in fact, the DBT in general is very easy to understand and easy to implement as well. I hope you like this particular video and keep giving me your support. And do remember to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for being till here.